Als biersommelier is het mijn missie om bier aan tafel te krijgen. Ik neem u graag mee naar zowel leuke brasseries als toprestaurants die het aandurven om met bier te werken. Leer alles over inschenken, kijken, ruiken, proeven en combineren met gerechten. Cheers! We zijn hier te gast in het uh, Jean Martin Museum, gevestigd in de brouwerij van uh, Timmermans de Itterbeek. Hier kan je 100 jaar geschiedenis uh, van Jean Martin beleven. De man die uh, in 1909 vanuit uh, Bretagne naar uh, Antwerpen zeilde om er te beginnen met de import van Britse bieren. Het museum is echt de moeite om te bezoeken en is geopend elke tweede zondag van de maand tussen 2 en 5 uur of op afspraak. Maar wij gaan nu, u ziet het, de Gordon's Christmas proeven in het hoofdkantoor te Jeanval en er daarna iets lekkers bij eten. Well, well. I'm very glad to be in your uh, great Christmas bar here. And I'm glad to be with you in this little screen, Smoncha. Okay. <laughs> Tell me a little bit, uh, in a few words, the story about uh, Gordon's beer and Gordon's Christmas. My grandfather, in uh, 1909, 100, 101 years ago, yes. went over to, um, to Belgium. He crossed the channel from England and brought with him the secret of uh, British beers. And uh, that's where the secret of Gordon's really started for the Belgium beer connoisseur. The product never changed, eh? as I read somewhere. You are so right. The product itself was registered, the trademark Gordon was registered in 1924 um, in Antwerp uh, for the first time for the whole of the continent of Europe by John Martin, my, my grandfather. The product was then brewed at um, Scottish and Newcastle breweries in Edinburgh. Beautiful brewery which brewed, which is now closed, unfortunately, but the recipe is still the same today for Gordon's yeah. Scotch Ale as it was in 1924 when my grandfather started the product. And this Christmas uh, version is a little bit uh, heavier in alcohol, a little bit more ingredients uh, than the Highland uh, Ale? Yes, the Christmas version is a traditional um, version of beer for the Christmas season. But we have decided to keep the same recipe, so it's a little bit stronger. The sugar is fermented longer, so it takes a little bit longer to brew. Mm -hmm. And therefore the transformation is, uh, of the sugars into alcohol um, is a little bit more powerful, if you want. And the beer is 8.8 eight, eight, 8 degrees, eight, eight Eight, as opposed uh, to 8% for the normal finer scotch. Van de kerstbar bij Martins naar het Chateau du Lac is maar een kleine stap. So this uh, particularly thistle shaped glass is also in small version. Yes, it's a thistle shape well done. The shape of the Scottish thistle, the um, Scottish national anthem. But um, it will soon be available as well in a baby bottle. Really? It's like a baby which, sham. Which will go, well, <laughs> maybe baby champagne if you want, but it will certainly go with the, with a small glass. Slauncher. Slauncher. It, it, it resembles, it's got a touch of the Guinness, yeah. sort of Irish taste, but Scottish, lighter on the palate, yes and a little bit more fruity. But I'm going to look now in the kitchen to right. see what the chef I think is uh, preparing. The chef, the chef is waiting for you. Donc moi je suis très curieux oui. ce que vous, vous allez concocter avec, euh, avec cette bière. Ah, bien sûr, parce que comme c'est une bière de la fête... Euh, Mais ici euh, c'est une cuisine de saison, hein, j'ai ah, entendu. Bien sûr, bien sûr. Donc, on aussi, suit le saison. On suit tous les saisons. Maintenant c'est le gibier. Le gibier en à volonté. Dedans, à volonté. Voilà. Et euh, on a tout le, le, le préparation. Ouais. Mais je crois que de toute façon que ah, le oui. bon choix c'est de, 
d'avoir la Christmas avec le GBA. Ah, bien sûr. Donc, avec comme... tous les GBA, je crois. Mais je crois. Euh, c'est, c'est, c'est vrai que ça peut accompagner beaucoup euh, de, de, de autres ouais. GBA, bien sûr. Ouais. Voilà. J'ai encore euh, apporté ah. un petit cadeau pour vous. Ah, ça, c'est formidable. 30 recettes. Euh, voilà. Euh, donc, euh, de 30 émissions, ah, tout le Beer and Food Fairing content, pour oui. introduire ça ici dans le château. Voilà, ça on va certainement faire. Ok. Ok. I think this is going to be a great marriage because the venison asks for a dark beer with sweet and bitter touches, tones. You need a beer with a lot of character. This is, you know, spicy food. Eh? It's spicy food, a powerful beer. Yeah. The well, best combination. Let's, let's start it. Let's try it. Let's enjoy it. The balance and the, of the beer and the, the venison makes it, uh, makes it happen, I think. The perfect match. Perfect, perfect match. match. Let's drink to that. Again. After all, we don't have such a bad life, I think, Anthony. It's a tough job. Somebody has to do it. Yes, but you are in Belgium. It's now the country of special beers in the whole yes, world. Indeed. What an easy life you have. That's why I never will move and stay here. And we're staying here too. Fourth generation is coming up. Okay, so you are a Franco-Anglo-Belgian, but here to stay. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Volgende week proeven we kerstleffen met Wilde Fazant. En een speciale gast. 